اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم الف لام میم صاد کتاب انزل علیک فلا تکن فی صدرک حرج منہو لتنزل بہی و ذکرا للمومنین اتبعو ما انزل علیک من ربکم ولا تتبعو من دونہی اولیاء قلیلا ما تذکرون صدق اللہ العظیم With the blessing of Allah, we are beginning our study of Surah Al-Araf. I told you that these two surahs go to make a pair, pair of Makki surahs, Al-An'am, Al-Araf. Now this Al-Araf is the largest surah, Makki surah in the Quran. It, is, it consists of 206 ayat and 24 sections. Although there is one Makki surah that is Shu'ara, which consists of a greater number of our ayat, 227. But the ayat in Surah Shura are very small. So that those 227 ayat go to make only 11 sections. And if you compare the volume of the two, the volume of this Surah Al-Araf is two and a half times more than that of Surah Al-Shura. So this is the biggest and the largest Makki Surahs. Now, what is the relationship between these two surahs? You know, pair. If two things are a pair, there must be some similarities. And there must be some difference also. Where those two things come, become complementary to each other. So you will find that we have read, you know, the whole of Surah Al-An'am. Mention has only been made in somewhat detail of Hazrat Ibrahim alayhi salatu was salam. Neither of Nuh, nor of Hud, nor of Saleh, nor for that matter of Lut or Moses, etc., etc. Because, you know, these are the Ambaur Rusul. Ambaur Rusul, Naba means a very important news. Amma yatasaloon, anil Naba il azim il lazihum fi mukhtarifu. Naba, a very big news. So the big news of the messengers of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Ambaur Rusul. What are those news? That a prophet, a messenger was sent to such and such nation. They belied him, not believed in him. They were destroyed. This story repeated many a time in the Quran. Nuh, Hud, Saleh, Lut, then Shaib and Moses. Six messengers of Allah are repeatedly quoted and you know, referred to in the Quran. You will find in Surah Araf, in the chronological order, in the historical sequence, the mention of these six messengers of Allah. As for Ibrahim alayhi salatu was salam, it is never given in the Quran that some such punishment came to the people of Ibrahim. It appears that he is the climax of the prophethood. To, pick, to nations where prophets were living, if the nations didn't believe in the prophet, no punishment came to them. The king at the time of Hazrat Yusuf alayhi salam, he didn't believe in him. And the whole of the Egyptians, they didn't believe in, in, in Jesus, that he is the prophet of Allah. But still, you know, the, 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 the attitude was different. The messenger, whenever he came, he said, Ati'ullah, Urbudullah wa ati'un. You have to do worship to Allah and you have to obey me. This is the call of all the messengers. But the prophets, they might be living like, you know, all ya Allah. But the only difference between a waliullah and a nabi is that to the nabi, wahi was coming, revelation was coming. To the all ya Allah, to a Sheikh Abdul Qadir Jilani, and for that matter, other all ya Allah of this Muslim ummah, wahi didn't come. But they were very pious people. So much good spread from their personalities in their society. So actually, prophets are more resembling the Aliya. The only difference is that revelations were coming to them. But messengers are a different category. They represent Allah. They come and demand, believe me, obey me. You have to obey me. You have to obey me. We have read, you know, 
ان صورت النساء اوبیڈینس ٹو محمد صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم وما ارسلنا من رسول الا ليطاع باذن الله وی ہیو سینٹ نو رسول نو مسنجر بٹ دیٹ دی دی ہی شوڈ بی اوبیڈ وما یطع الرسول فقط اطاع الله ہو سو ایور اوبیز دی مسنجر ہی ایکچولی اوبیز اللہ سو یو نو وی فائنڈ ان دس سورہ اعراف دی سٹوری اف سکس اف دی مسنجرز اف اللہ ٹو ہوز نیشنز دی سیویریس پنشمنٹ کیم عذاب الاستیصال قطع دابر القوم الذین ظلموا when their roots were cut when they were all annihilated except the few who came to believe in the messenger but no such thing appeared in surah al-anam hazrat ibrahim alayhi salatu wassalam although he was himself muwahhid but you know what happened to his nation even though he was thrown in fire by the nation but only a slight reference at one point but not in that way so actually this is a a a you know a point in which these two surahs come close to each other that this subject is more dealt with in surah al-araf and at-tazkir bi ala illah you know allah's allah's blessings allah's bounties allah's creation all these things are more discussed in surah al-anam we have read and this her last punishment messengers coming and if the nations don't accept them then the dire consequences they are more detailed discussed in surah al-araf alif lam mim sa these are the alphabets which are pronounced separately huruf muqattaat separately and nobody knows the exact meanings there are so many conjectures nothing has been you know given to us by the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam also so we can't say there are certain opinions but you know in this rapid translation there is no time for the discussion of these things kitabun unzila ilayka fala yakun fi sadrika harajun mimhu o muhammad this is the book sallallahu alaihi wasallam which has been sent down to you fala yakun fi sadrika harajun min there should be no you know grief no narrowing of the chest in you due to this why you shouldn't be very much grievous very much grieved on whether i am doing the right duty or not this was the thought which haunted muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam although he was doing everything that he could do day and night preaching 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 although you know people were telling him to be you have gone crazy majnoon you are a poet or you have been possessed by some evil spirits but he was preaching even then he thought maybe i am not fulfilling my duty why are they not believing maybe i am at fault maybe i have not been able to convey to them the way i should have conveyed فلا تكن في صدرك حرج there should be no you know impediment in your hearts لتنذر به and this book has been only sent to you so that you warn the people with this again به انذركم به we find these words in surah al-arab وهي الى هذا القران لانذركم به here لتنذر به so that you warn people with this book with these ayat wa zikra lil mu'mini and this is actually a reminding for the people who believe ittabi'u ma unzila ilaykum bi rabbikum follow what has been sent down to you from your lord wala tatabi'u min dunihi awliya don't follow any other protectors or friends leaving him aside qalilan ma tadhakkarun but little are you admonished little reminding you get وَكَمْ مِنْ قَرْيَةٍ أَهْلَكْنَاهَا Now this is the main theme of this surah as I told you. How many towns and townships have been أَهْلَكْنَاهَا whom we destroyed فَجَاهَا بَيَاسُنَا بَيَاتًا To them came our punishment either at the night or whom قَائِلُون or during the noon when they were making قَيْلُولَا when they were, test, they were resting because it was the you know custom with all the arab nations of that area 
this kailula is is small sleep a pause during the noon fama kana dawahu jahum basuna but when our punishment our azab came to them the only call and plea that they took was illa an qalu inna kunna zalimin they lamented verily we were on the wrong side verily we were the evil doers 